Hey folks, Zoe Maya here. Welcome back to Haven's Kitchen. Today, we're making five minute romesco ravioli. We love this recipe because everyone loves a crispy, toasty ravioli moment. And one thing that a lot of folks don't know is that because ravioli is a fresh pasta, you don't have to boil it. You can pan sear it, you can air fry it, you can roast it in the oven. It really gives you a lot of options for a semi-homemade hack for a really creamy, fresh pasta in a very quick amount of time. Another thing that's great is that our red pepper romesco does so much of the heavy lifting. It's full of flavor. Piquillo peppers are one of my favorite flavors, and this is packed full of them, and it kind of is an ode to like Spanish tapas. So you could serve this for dinner. You could also serve it as a really fun party snack. We're also adding tomatoes, which just give this juicy burst of flavor. And then we're gonna finish with some mozzarella cheese for just like a melty, unctuous sort of moment at the end. If this recipe sounds like one you'd like to try, subscribe to see all of our future cooking videos. All right, let's cook. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab a heavy bottom skillet to sear your ravioli. The great thing about this dish is that it's just in one pan. So once you sear the ravioli, we're gonna add our romesco sauce to get things kind of saucy and bubbling. Then we'll add our tomatoes, which are just gonna burst and add this very rich, almost slow cooked vibe to our sauce, even though it's coming together super quickly. So let's head to the stove. So the first thing we'll do is add a nice heavy glug of olive oil to our pan. That's gonna help get all of our crispy edges. Once your oil starts to shimmer and you can see it move around the pan, you can go ahead and start adding your ravioli. Make sure you don't crowd the pan because you want everything to have some space to sizzle. So sear these a few at a time. Once you start to see the ravioli turn opaque around the edges, you can go ahead and give it a flip. Oh yeah. Nice golden little crust forming. Now we're gonna just slide in our tomatoes. Give that a little shake and let those start bursting, releasing all their juices. Yum. Then we'll add our romesco sauce. Splash of water. And we'll cover that and cook it for about five more minutes at a low simmer. So the last thing we're gonna do, once this pasta is cooked and these tomatoes are nice and juicy, we'll remove our lid. We're gonna salt, a few pinches of salt here. And we're gonna add our mozzarella and let that melt and just become part of the sauce. It's gonna be so good. Oh yeah, see how these tomatoes have broken down and gotten so juicy. Our cheese is melting into the sauce. So there you have it folks. We've got our five minute romesco ravioli. So simple, so easy to put together. I hit it with a little lemon zest at the end just for a pop of freshness and 
The lemon zest hitting that warm ravioli is just, the smell is incredible. If you wanted something a little bit more creamy or salty, a little bit of parm would also be a beautiful garnish on this. If you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to like this video and subscribe to see all of our future cooking videos. For the full recipe and a textable shopping list, click the link below. Thanks for watching. Cook happy.